When I was in the fourth grade, I moved from a place where everyone looked like me to a town where I was the only one of my kind. I used to be in the Chicago public schools on the south side of Chicago, but then I moved to the southwest suburbs. The neighborhoods weren't even 20 minutes apart, but the demographics were like night and day. On my first day of school, people would stare at me as if I were a museum. This experience was incredibly lonely. I felt by myself, I resented my culture, and I hated meeting new people and people who were different than me. But of course, over time, I had to be accustomed to this new life. And that's when I met some really, really amazing people. My first friend was Palestinian. My second friend was Filipino. And my third friend was Mexican. And we're even friends to this day. After being thrust into this new environment, I experienced so many different cultures and I met so many wonderful people. From that experience, I began to love different cultures and it also prepared me for when I attended my first Palestinian wedding. My first Palestinian wedding was from my friend Iman. Iman in Arabic means faith. We had been friends for a long time. A couple years after high school, I received an invitation in the mail and it was for her wedding. I was so excited, but of course I was just a little bit nervous. I was going to be one of the only Americans there. So I decided to go with a group of my friends, Joy, who's Filipino, and Giselle, who's Mexican. When we got there, they seated all of the American people together, and they kept referring to us as Iman's American friends, or the American table, or the Americans. It was really, really funny because we had never been referred to by our nationality. Typically, it would be like, oh, that's the Black girl, or that's the girl who's Asian, or that's the girl who's Mexican. So I decided to ask someone because it was just a different experience. I asked her, why are you calling us the Americans? And she basically said, they call everyone who's not from their village American. And I really, really appreciated that because I was not referred to by my race, but just by my nationality, which was American. The next thing that happened that was different was the entire wedding ceremony. It is nothing like the weddings that I was used to. Coming from a Black culture, I'm used to weddings having a bridal party with bridesmaids and groomsmen and flower girls and ring bearers. So this was very, very different. Typically, at the weddings that I was used to, the, the ceremonies were very simple. The groomsmen and the groom, along with the minister, would stand at the front of the church. Then the bridesmaids would walk in with music. And finally, the bride would march in with her father down the aisle while everyone stood in awe. There would be some music, of course, the vow exchange, prayers. Then the groom would kiss the bride. They would jump the broom and that was it. They would march out. Afterwards, there would be a party. But this wedding was completely, completely different. What made the wedding different was that my friend was not only Palestinian, but she was also Muslim. And in this culture, the weddings in, for the weddings, the men are separated from the women, and they're in completely different rooms. <laughs> the only time that a man entered our room was at the very, very beginning, and that's when my, my friend Iman, your Iman, danced with her husband. And at this time, all the women were dressed in their hijabs and their long black dresses to cover themselves. After the dance was over, he exited to go into his room with his friends and family, his male friends and family. And then she exited to go change, to change her clothes. And at that moment, all the other women changed their clothes too. They took off their hijabs and their long black dresses, and they decided to put on these dresses that were so beautiful, printed um, with patterns from their culture and from their countries. Pretty much after everyone changed into their comfortable and beautiful dresses, it was basically a dance party. 
everyone was dancing and mingling and eating food and dancing with the bride. And it was such an amazing and beautiful, beautiful experience. Also, these weddings typically last two to three days, depending on um, depending on the wealth of the person. This wedding was so beautiful, and I'm so glad that I was able to be a part of it. What I learned about this event was that people from all different cultures celebrate things differently, but the intent was the same. The celebration of a beautiful, beautiful marriage. Although we are all different, there are still things that connect us together as human beings.